I have a lot of work to do today. But first, we got some problems. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Do you see it? You see it? Oh. We've got a major gopher problem. There are, there's like a whole litter of these suckers down here. If you don't know what a groundhog is, it's a slightly cuter version of a rat, but it can destroy your house. There's the mama right there. Mother rat. See what happens when I open the door. So, we need to get rid of them. That's where they come out of. That's one of their holes. That's one of their holes right there. And then here's like another one. I'm trying to block it off. And we're not gonna stop until we do because these two dogs have not been acting normal at all since those babies were born. Pups? I don't know. We need to get them out of here. So <clears throat> I have employed Mr. Internet and we're gonna run through a few lists of things that we could potentially do to get rid of groundhogs. And hopefully some of them work. What's on the list? Ah. The number one thing that they recommend is to use a box trap to catch a groundhog. I'm not gonna put any in my car though, I'm not gonna cage. I can't do that, like do you want like a big furry family of rats running around your car? Like what if they break free? Like what, what if they... they have... No thank you. Moving on. Alright, so this is kind of scandalous. Create vibrations in the ground. Okay, number three, smoke them out. That is not probably going to fly very well living in city limits, I think. I, I think somebody would complain if, if a lot of smoke bombs went off. And again. Get a cat or dog for yourself and use urine. Yeah, these dogs have been on it the entire time. In fact, I'm gonna give it a go myself. gonna see if that works. Fingers are crossed because I really need it to work. Well, didn't work. <sighs> okay, so it turns out that that does not work as well as I hoped. They kind of just came right out, which has me a little bit worried, but that's okay. We still have a lot more things to look at on the list. All right, um, what do we have next? What do we have next? We have... Ah! Sprinkle human hair around the yard. <laughs> Are you still like, I don't, I, I feel like I shouldn't even trust this website right now. I suppose I could use the hair from the drain in the shower. Yeah, let's give it a whirl. It's getting really frustrating because I feel like I tried everything. Desperate times call for desperate measures and, ooh, we're right at number eight. Now we're gonna get nasty. Use lime to burn their feet. I don't want to burn their feet. I just don't want them to live here. Here we go. This is probably the least helpful tip that there is out here. It says use fencing and chicken wire as a prevention. They're groundhogs. Terrible. Ah, okay. All right. Saving, saving the best for last. I've tried so many things. So. All right. I think one of the next things that we're going to try, um, Okay, okay, so I have a plan to get rid of the groundhogs. Um, I think it goes against the Geneva Convention. Does my hair look okay? Your hair looks marvelous. Oh. If that is not a thumbs up, total sign of approval for this plan, I don't know what is. Like zero degrees. I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast. Revolutionary guy, let out the street. Locked in the cage, I'ma let out the let out the let out the wake up, let out the sheets. Alright, so the method that we're being forced to do um, involves making an ammonia solution and dumping it down the hole. Now, just in the event that that doesn't work, because apparently pee, which I heard turns into ammonia, didn't work out well. If that doesn't work out well, I also got some bleach. So, we're gonna kinda make mustard gas. Okay, so a short little word of warning. This apparently is not something that you're supposed to do in your house. And 
No, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. It's not one of my one of my slogans. I actually never say safety first, but in this instance, safety first. All right. So, from what I've been reading on killgroundhogs.com or whatever the website was, it's three parts of ammonia, one part of water, splash of laundry detergent or dish detergent, um, and then mix it together. Don't breathe in the fumes. Don't get your head over the top. Don't not touch anything. I don't know if you're gonna die yet. Not adding Clorox until as a last result, so hopefully I'm gonna be okay. Um, but yeah, let's. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. I hope Mama Bear is not too mad. I mean, she's gonna be mad. She'd be pissed. But like, you know, I don't want her to bite me. I don't know if I need to be wearing. I should probably be wearing pants for something like this. All right, so the first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna dump this around areas where they come into the yard so that they don't escape into the yard. It smells terrible. All right, so one lesson that I learned so far is that I should have used a bigger bucket, but all right, here we go. So far, I haven't really seen anything uh, aside from the mama being kind of pissed off, so. I don't even know what I'm gonna say here. I think I actually split it right down the hole perfectly. Let's see if they come out though, like I don't know if it works. They could just be pissed. Alright, one more hole to go. Might not have uh, actually gotten all of this into the hole, but I definitely pissed off a bunch of bees. So we're gonna see what happens, and I will keep you posted on the success of this mission. Um, maybe later today, or uh, see what happens by tomorrow. But, uh, it has been three days, and I have not seen a single one of those meatballs anywhere. I mean, the mama, she looked kind of mad when I was about to dump the stuff in her hole. God, this just sounds so dirty. The entire time that I'm doing this, I can't. She seemed like a little dirty when... <laughs> the dogs are still acting a little bit funny, but that's, that's okay. That's okay. I think we got a winner. I think we got a winner. I would say that I'm gonna patent this and sell it, but really I just found it on, on the internet. Um, you know, tried about half a dozen things that did not work. Um, the final item on the list that, that they actually had written there was kill and eat them. <laughs>